I think there's really two sides to that coin. Part of it is you have to install an innovation process that de-risks the outcomes. So bringing in the consumer voice, getting real quantitative research around ideas, bringing in outside experts to give you great ideas and then testing them thoroughly, that's the innovation process side. There's also an entire mindset side. If the company has galvanized around process and efficiency, you necessarily don't have the mindset and you may not have the talent that can actually generate ideas from within. So over time, and this is my job now, is to help companies cultivate that kind of culture that allows for creativity, allows for customer focus, allows for risk taking to take place within the four walls of the company. And that takes time, but ultimately that's more generative than hiring outside experts every two years. This is one of those both and questions. There, there tends to be this sort of this false dichotomy of, well, we can either focus on cur current business re results and be good at process, or we can be this crazy, fa fabulous innovation place that's full of risk and may fall apart tomorrow. And the reality is the executives of today have to do both. They have to develop and cultivate an incredibly rigorous process-oriented delivery mechanism and create space so that part of people's time or part of certain teams' times are dedicated to looking at the future, tunneling out into that future, looking at alternate possibilities, and bringing those back into the firm and testing those. If you don't do both, you run the real risk of falling apart or dying a slow death.